welcome everybody farm sim snowy here so in this video we're going to take a look at the pigs in farming simulator 22 so as you can see i've got four pig styes out which has got a little kind of test just to show you a little bit later i'll i'll show you what's gone on so far with it all and then we'll skip forward time got a few things set up ready there so first of all what you need to do is we need a pig pasture or barn so if a little tip if you're not aware I'm on PS5 I believe it works on all the consoles if you hold down L1 so that will be LB on Xbox and press the touchpad it gets you into your build mode a little bit quicker so we want to scroll across the top to animals and then come down scroll across to pigs and then come down again and as you can see we've got three options there we've got a pig pasture that is one slot if you're on console holds 30 pigs 28,000 to buy and you can see all the crops there that the pigs will eat so corn sorghum wheat barley soybeans canola sunflowers potatoes sugar beets and then right at the end is the pig food symbol which is basically just a mixture of all those items in one product if you're not aware next we've got the pig sty this is 11 slots normally it's saying one slot there because obviously that's the ones i've got set up over there it holds 108 pigs and that's 109,000 to buy and then at the very end we've got pig sty large that is 13 slots holds 270 pigs and that is 164,000 to buy so just to show you how to do everything and get sort of the gist and the idea of it we're going to put down a pig pasture so if we click on that we can rotate them round like so and what I want you can just sort of make out the feed troughs and water trough just there going to place that down and you can see the icons over there now if you go for a pasture like on most of the animals you will need to give them water if you go for any of these barns like here you don't need to worry about the water they're already sort of plumbed in and it gives them the water automatically so if you've got a pasture you will need to give them water and also a little handy tip if you hover over any of your buildings this goes for even your farmhouse in the help menu you can see it says select so if I press R3 for me comes up a little bit of information about that building the value how long you've owned it for and in this menu you can sell it from here or you can rename it so we could delete pig pasture and we could name it whatever we wanted just be aware though you can't sell any animal pens if you've got animals in there you will have to get rid of the animals to be able to sell the animal pen so that is that little bit so next up we need some piggies got a couple of options of getting to the process of buying them first option is you can get yourself an animal transport trailer so if we come into tools scroll down to animal transport which is just there then scroll across um, at the minute there's only one option which is this wilson trailer and that will hold 36 pigs so you can get yourself one of them it does need to be pulled by either a truck or a dolly attached to a tractor if you're not aware what a dolly is if you come down stay in tools go to dollies you've got these here which you can use it hooks up to a tractor like a trailer and then it'll hook up to that trailer so that is one option another option is to come up to this paw print and as I walk towards it you can see it says in the help menu open animal dialogue so if we click on that it opens up this menu and we can buy them from here top right it says farm and in brackets it says zero slash thirty zero is because we have no pigs in there at the moment and the 30 is the maximum capacity for this pen or pasture so that is one option uh, or two options really to buy another one is if we go back into this menu and scroll all the way down to these three lines we've got these options here and on the left we've got animal dealer 
click on that. If you've got more than one pen placed down, you can select which one you want to go into. So say that for instance, and then we can place more pigs in there. That is obviously one of the pig styles I've got down. That's why it says 10 in there already. So there you go. So we're just going to buy some from here. So I'll click on that. And we'll also talk about the different breeds while we're in here. So we've got three different breeds of pigs. We've got the German Land Race, the Benthine Black Pied, and the Berkshire. And within those three breeds, we've got two different age groups. So the first one of the German Land Race, it says zero months. So these are newborns. And then it's got a reproduction underneath of four months. So basically that what that means is every four months they will reproduce. But as we come down, we have got six month old German lamb races. And again, it says four months. So basically what that means is these six month old ones are at the age to already start reproducing. But they will take four months to reproduce and give you newborns the newborns themselves they are cheaper to buy but you'll have to wait until they get to six months old before they're ready to reproduce and then it will take another further four months before you get any newborns from them so hopefully that explains that a little bit they're all the same prices as you can see across the three breeds so we're just going to go for some six month old ram races and i'm just going to put in there let's just say 10. if you do buy from here it will charge you a fee so if i click back on over here click back on here and go down to one it will charge us 30 pounds euros or dollars whatever you're playing on per pig so if i go up to two that will charge us 60. So just one thing to be aware of, if you do collect them from the animal dealer, it doesn't cost you anything, but then you have to take into account the cost of the leasing or buying of a transport trailer. So there's our piggies, already resting, look. So we now need some feed and water for them. So we'll go for the feed first. I've got some pig food in here. If we go into this menu and go up to our pig pasture, this is the ones we've just placed in. On the food section there, it gives us a total and then it's split up. It says base food, grain, protein and root crops. If we look right down the bottom, your base food is going to be either corn or sorghum and that's got an effectiveness of 50%. So that's kind of like your main ingredient of the pig food if that makes sense then we've got our grain that is either wheat or barley that's got an effectiveness of 25 percent and then your protein is going to be either soybeans canola or sunflowers with an effectiveness of 20 percent and your root crops is either potatoes or sugar beet with an effectiveness of five percent now you can just give them one of those bars so you could just tip in base food if you want but you're not going to get the full effectiveness so if you add up all those percentages it does come up to a hundred percent so you're kind of looking to be a hundred percent all the time to get the most out of your animals so it doesn't have to be corn or sorghum things like that or wheat or barley you can give them a mixture of the two or even three with the soybeans canola and sunflowers but if you go to the store and buy pig food so if we come up to here and go to objects go to big bag pallets come across we have got pig food here so you can buy that and that is all those ingredients already mixed up in that bag and it's a thousand dollars there for a thousand liters so you can buy them and you can either pick them up and lift them over to the feed troughs and it will tip in you can use like a pallet fork forklift telly hand or anything like that front loader it will tip into the feed troughs if you do it that way or you can load up from a trailer so i loaded up because if we go into these big bags 
and go across to pig food. As you can see, for the same amount, a thousand liters, these big bags are a hundred dollars cheaper than the pallet big bags. So you might as well buy these. You can buy these again, you can hang these over the feed trough and it will slowly drain out and disappear once it's all gone into the um, feed trough. But you can buy these in bulks of eight if you want. You can go one right up to eight. And like I say, you can pull up next to them in a trailer. You should get the refill trailer option come up and you can just fill a trailer up, which is what I have done here. If I just open the cover, you can see we're full up with pig feed. So I'm going to swing round. So if, if you want to, obviously if you're harvesting all those crops or some of those crop types, once you've harvested them, you can bring them over and tip them into your pigs. But that does become quite a challenging task, if that's the right words. It seems like, or certainly did in FS19, it just seemed like you were growing crops just to feed your pigs. But it's, so far, it's looking like most of the animals in FS22 don't eat as much. Whether the pigs are the same, I'm not sure. Right, next up, we've got some water. We'll need some water, sorry. I've got the Joskin Aquatrans. If you're not familiar where that is, if we go into tools again, come up to animals. It's in here. It's just a water trailer. There is two more options, both these lizards. They will hold water as well as milk, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. So I went for the Joskin. Now, in terms of water, if you're on a map, if I scroll up to the map, and it's got a body of water on the map, so say like this pond here and over here, you can pull up back in with your trailer and you should get the refill trailer um, message come up in your help window. You should be able to refill from areas like that for free. Or you can go into your build mode, under the building section, come down to container, go all the way to the end, We've got this water tank which is one slot 3000 to buy so we're going to place one of those down just to show you jump in this tractor now if you watch the help menu as we pull up close to it start filling comes up now if you do use one of these you are going to get charged to fill up real your water tanker so if we start filling top right you can see our money is already going down so you will get charged if you do it this way and then if we stop that that's cost us $157 to fill up from there so we've only got a little bit of water in there and if we swing around go up towards the water icon we should get our overload there we go start overloading do that the water trough starts filling up and there we go the pastures don't require any straw so if we go back into our animal menu these are the guys we've just placed in um, they will go up their health will go up 10% every hour as long as you've obviously fed and watered them and their productivity will slowly go up as well so that is how to sort of feed and water your pigs to start with. So what I'm going to do now as well, just so you can see it, is we'll go back into the build mode and we will purchase a large pig sty just so you can see what it's like. We'll spin that around, I think, and we'll just plonk that down somewhere there. So we'll run over there. This is obviously just going to be a larger version of these ones. I'll show you them in a second. So you're going to have a slurry point just there. You've got a little bit of storage just there. If we go into this building, we've got a little control panel there. And as I walk towards it, it says open door. If we click that, that should open up these shutters. 
so they are now open and the ones inside up there they open up as well I'll just quickly show you look I didn't do anything wrong there that should shut them up now like so so you can open and close the shutters which is quite cool and then just here with the trailer icon this is where you're going to tip your pig food and straw in just there and then we've got our animal dialogue box just here where you can buy your piggies from they're obviously going to appear out there you can go in these doors if you wish like so you can even open this door as well and have a little run around in there it's pretty cool and again these are pretty much the same just smaller pigs are there we've got a slurry point just there with a little bit of storage if you want to shutters again your tipping point for your pig food or your crops whatever you're feeding them and your straw and then we've got a dialogue box just there as well again where you can buy more if you want to better shut that door in case they run out so that is pretty much how to sort of feed them look after them now one thing i will say is if we go into the pig styes now which is where i've sort of got the experiment if you want to call it an experiment running so basically i've got 10 of each breed and then in the very last one i've put some newborns in 10 of those as well so we're just going to have a quick look to see you know how much sort of slurry they produce how much food they're eating and sort of the reproducing rates and whatnot like that so as you can see on this menu we've got a slurry bar we've got straw we've got food there is no manure bar we've given them straw so what you're going to need to do if you want manure from your animals cows or pigs pastures i don't think i think i might do a little test on that actually i'm pretty sure it's not going to happen because you need straw really for manure but i'm going to try it pastures you don't need straw to go in there so you're not going to get any manure i don't think from there so if we go back into build mode and stay in the building settings and come down if we click on silos come down scroll across we've got a manure heap here now I've been told that the ones in the silos do not work so that is going to be our first test we're going to place one of these here like so but if you go back up and go along to silo extensions and come down there's another manure heap ex ex well a manure heap extension it says they're both two slots to place and they're both 4 million litre capacity but these ones do work so I'm going to place one of these here and just out of interest I don't think it's going to work can I spin that round? I want to spin that round right we'll go there like that I'm going to place one next to this pasture technically that shouldn't work i'm not expecting it to and it probably won't so now what i'm going to do whoa look at him running away where are you going straight through the wall what a nutter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed up time um i'll probably go two months on and just see where we're at and then we'll go another two months on because our six month old pigs should have reproduced by then and we'll check all the manure situation and the pig feed and whatnot like that so i'll see you in two months time to see what the results are so two months has passed let's go and have a look what has happened so if we go into our animal menu so the guys that we put into the pig pasture they were six month old land races they are now eight months old and you can see their reproduction is at 20 percent uh, sorry 50 percent which would definitely make sense because they reproduce in four months so we've skipped on two months hence halfway up the 100 percent chart the 
other six months old you can see exactly the same they've produced slurry pretty much the same all across the board on those three yeah it is so they've basically had enough uh, enough I basically had the same amount of feed they produce the same amount of slurry and they're all at 50% so yeah there's no difference then in the type breed type so one isn't more prolific than the other so the three different breeds are exactly the same and then in the far end of the pig styes we had our newborns they're obviously now two months old and as you can see underneath the health bar there if you got something written in the brackets there next to reproduction that normally sort of gives you a guide of what needs to happen so basically it's telling us that uh, they are less than six months old so they need to get to six months before they start reproducing whereas these guys have now got a reproduction of 50 percent if that makes sense so we'll have a quick look at the manure situation and then we'll skip on two more months and like i say the three breeds that we've got over there should give us some newborns so what have we got here absolutely nothing which is what i was expecting because we have no straw just did that out of curiosity you don't know unless you try and then this is one of the ones from the silos these don't work apparently so nothing in there and then this is from silos extension have we got any manure in there yes we have so the silo extension manure heaps do work the ones from the silos do not work hopefully that will get sorted i don't know why it's like that and you don't have to come in here with a bucket and front load or whatnot you can just pull up to this icon with a trailer and fill up from there so that's pretty cool i'm guessing as well because you place it so close to these two it's probably picking up from both of those i'm not sure because it does seem to if i show you actually while we're in build mode if we go along to no we don't we want buildings don't we buildings <coughs> and silo extensions You can be right out here look so that's quite a distance from your pig styes obviously if you go too far you get that warning coming up it needs to be placed next to a barn so you you've got a quite a bit of scope on them all the way around a good radius so pretty cool right we'll skip on two more months and let's see what newborns we get how many and again the manure situation 2028 litres I'll see you in a couple of months December it's a beautiful December morning and we have some newborns so in the pig pasture here you can see there is a few more in there if we go into our animal menu so these guys that was just kind of like a not even experiment just to show you how to place them down and buy them and feed them we now have 10 newborns because i did put in the six month ones obviously we've in total skipped on four months that's why they're saying they're 10, 10 months old so they're starting to get a little bit low on water probably because 10 more has been added to that pen in the pig styes we again have 10 so it's looking like the chickens the sheep and the cows when they reproduce it's like for like so if you've got 20 as long as they're at the age to reproduce when they do reproduce you'll get another 20 if you've got five you'll get another five and so on so pretty much exactly the same across these three breeds there's no difference in them like i said earlier neither of them's more prolific than the other obviously it's showing there's more feed in the pig styes than the pasture because that has a bigger total capacity if we scroll down to the newborns which are at the far end 
they're now up at to four months old so still got two more months left to go before they can start reproducing but as you can see pretty much on all of the ones in the pig styes they've not really eaten a lot they've hardly used any straw so pretty impressive considering that's four months on i know i'm playing on one day a month seasons but even if you had it on 28 days that is still going to be the same readings because it's based on a month so pretty impressive with the feed because on fs19 they used to eat you out of house and home right manure there's nothing in there i'll just tell you that straight away that was obvious there's going to be nothing in here if you have got your field info on as well if you come up look manure zero liters down the bottom and then in this one we should have a fair bit more maybe about four thousand yeah there we go four and a half thousand just over it's a pretty cool so that is the pigs i may have missed a couple of things out or didn't know something that you might know so if you do know let me in the comments or if i've missed something let me in the comments and i will try and improve on the next one but that is a guide to pigs hope you have all enjoyed it if you have he's still running around down there look if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty